Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on microcontroller tutorial series. In this video, we'll explore OCUI. So, if we explore the documentation provided by OCUI, it is saying that OCUI is an electronic online simulator. We can use it to simulate Arduino, ESP32, and many other popular microcontroller boards, parts, and sensors. So, here they have provided us with many examples to work with. And why OCUI? They are saying that you can start right now, so no installation is required. As this is sim online simulation platform, no hardware is needed where you can destroy things. Easy to get help. They have built a large community for uh, this sort of online simulation using OCUI. So the community is great. You can easily seek for help on this community. And also they have uh, provided in the interface uh, the code and the simulation side by side. So you can gain the confidence while coding unlimited hardware no restriction provided and again the community is very strong they have provided uh, some unique features that that are mentioned would be like wi-fi simulation you can do the wi-fi simulation in this OCUI platform virtual logic analyzer that can be done here advanced debugging option so they have provided the debugging feature here sd card simulations uh, chips API in Visual Studio Core integrations. So these are some pretty good features to start with while you are working on online simulation for microcontroller boards like Arduino. Well, uh, we, we can see that OCUI is a great tool. Let's get started with the amazing features of OCUI to explore different electronics project as well as microcontroller based projects. So see you in the next section. Let's uh, build our first program using OCUI. On the website, if you go down, they have added the feature simulation projects. They have added some quick start template. You can also use these templates to get started. They have featured IoT projects. But if you are looking for build up, building a project from a scratch, this is the section you would be looking for. Here they have added different boards for uh, microcontroller developments like we have arduino uno here arduino mega and other uh, boards they have also added this more option here you can choose other raspberry pi or at tiny or esp32 boards like this so let's say for now we'll be using arduino uno to develop our first program using okui once you decide which board you need you need to click on that after clicking you will find such interface here you can notice that on the left hand side you have the coding interface and on the right hand side you have the uh, simulation design interface. On the left hand side uh, they have three tab, the sketch tab where you need to put your code, the JSON tab here you need to add your database or things like that. They have library manager if you want to add any library you can do so by pressing this plus button and looking for that library here they have also upload option so if you have any library at your local disk you can upload that also so let's say for the very first demonstration we'll be developing a project for simple led blinking for that reason we will not require any library for now so on the left hand side we have the programming interface in this programming interface we have two part void setup where you need to put the configurations related to the project and void loop where you need to put your main code that will be repeatedly executed. So let's say we want to use our pin 13 of Arduino Uno for blinking the LED. So that's why pin 13 would be our digital output pin. Let's mention that here pin mode pin 13 and we want to use this as output you need to keep the statement closed by semicolon so this is all for the configuration in void setup for now in the void loop part we need to put the main code here that will make the effect of blinking so to blink an led we need to first uh, make it high and then after a delay we need to make it low 
So, let us do that. To digitally uh, make the LED high, we need to use digital right, then the pin number, then high. So, this will make the LED glow. We need to give a delay. The delay function, the value we put here, it will be millisecond. So, let us say I am putting 500. So, it will be a 500 millisecond delay, half of a second. Then again, we need to turn it off. So, digital right 13 and make it low. After that, we need to put a delay of 500 millisecond I am putting here. So, this simple program will make the effect of blinking for an LED. Now, let us build the simulation diagram. On the right hand side, we have our Arduino Uno. We need additionally two components, one LED and one resistor. So, typically the LED we use, the 5 millimeters one, they have uh, forward voltage of 3.5 volt. For that reason, we will use an extra resistor in series with that LED. To bring this component into the canvas, you need to paste this plus icon, it will bring the component list. From here, you can search for your component. Let us say this is the LED we want, you need to click on this. It will bring the LED on the canvas. Then again, press plus and bring in this register. So, we know that LED stands for light emitting diode. That means it acts as a diode. It has plus terminal and minus terminal. This bended leg, it, it is the plus terminal. So, let us connect it to pin 13. This straight shorter terminal is the negative one, that is the cathode terminal. We will connect this terminal to our register. Then using this register, we will connect it to this ground. So, that is all for the circuit diagram for now. We have a LED in series with a register connected to pin 13 and ground. So, this simple program, if you want to simulate this project now, you just need to press this button. So, clicking on this, it will uh, create the effect of blinking on the right hand side. So, you can see creating a project on Okui, building the code and simulating the program is this much easy. On the upcoming tutorial, we will cover some more advanced projects using Okui. So, thank you for now. I will see you on the next video.